Yo, where the fuck were you in the previous video? Click on this car, this beauty, as you can see in front of me. It will pause this video and take you to the awesome previous video. Check it out, hit that like button, share it, tell your friends about it. Just do what you gotta do about it. You know what I'm saying about it? <laughs> yeah, any case guys, it will pause this video, it will take you to the previous video. Watch it, come back to this video, because in this video, we're testing not one, not two, but three cars. So let's go! Check out t2a.com for good, cheap games. Link in the description. Okay, as you guys can see, I'm driving the aerial Anthem or Atom, I'm not too sure how to pronounce the last part, but I'll be driving there. There's three vehicles in this car. This is the 300 supercharged one. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna actually do a two part video. Uh, first part's just gonna be a track because it's gonna be three vehicles, and I don't want to make the video too long for you guys. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get the thing underway. Okay guys, it's time for the track test. Let's go, let's start this baby up. Wrong one. There we go. Let's get the time up. There we go. First gear. Fast the old dash with this. I have to say, I've taken this car out for it. Oh crap, that was stupid. Um, I've taken out this car for a test, basically just a, a quick test to see how it handles. Um, but just like the first one of this one and the next one. And I have to say, this car doesn't grip that much compared to other cars. But yeah, I know it's gone um, actually compare this car to other cars but they're not both the same they don't get the same power blah 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 fucking blah oh shit come on but I just think um this car would be a little bit more faster and time wise oh shit don't go off the track Shit into a second. I don't know why. Any case, um, yeah, as you guys see, I have to like get the brakes because this part, really, as you can see, it just it does not want to grip. And as you can see at the bottom on the right, showing my tires are all green, so the temperature is fine. But otherwise, this is quite fun to drive. Just you have to watch your speeds in the corners and exit in the corners. Uh, otherwise, you will go off track. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, I think this car's quite nice. I'm also going to test the other two aerials. See how they do. I actually could have done better coming out of that corner. But oh well. Oh shit. Hey, two minutes and twenty-three point something. Oh, I think this got to... okay. This isn't bad at all. But yeah, let's head to the second vehicle and see how that does around this track because I haven't driven that before. Um, so yeah, let's go. Okay guys, this is the aerial anthem mu gen or mu gen, I'm not too sure. It's M U G E N. But yeah, let's go. Okay, 
this I think this one I'm not too sure if this one is okay let me explain um, there's a list of the aerial aerials you can call it um, but okay. but this one's actually at the last on the list and the V8 uh, before this one so I'm not too sure if this one is better or shittier, I'm not too sure, but yeah, we're named it. Uh, I decided to put this one as second because it's a little upgrade compared to uh, the 300 supercharged one. And I have to say, this one actually handles a lot better than the 300 uh, supercharged one. The gear ratios is still shit, like the first one. But yeah, what you gotta do, do what you gonna do, yeah, let's say that. But let's see how fast this baby does it on the track compared to your 300 supercharged. Here we are, and down. See, it's so shitty. If I'm going to second for some reason, well, I can't go into second. I just, yeah, not a yellow. But yeah, no, this this card uh, handles much better. I don't know. For me, it just feels a lot slower compared to the 300 supercharge. I don't know if this one was supposed to be the first one. See, I can't. <laughs> the curation is so crap in this part. Holy crap, I didn't go into first. What the freak? I went to second. Damn it. That's gonna cost me some time. 225. I think this one is actually first. I mean, like in the list, the cause I actually actually test. It's supposed to be first. Oh well. I had a little bit of a slip there at the end. In any case, let's head over to the Area Anthem 500 V8. Okay, let's go. Oh, this car's so fast compared to the first two aerials. Holy crap. Sorry guys, I had to do like a voiceover for this video because um, like an idiot, I did not record the video while I was recording the audio with Audacity. So yeah, I had to delete my audio and then yeah, as you know, I'm talking over the video, which is not that much fun as driving and talking at the same time. But yeah, I must say, this car, uh, it handles way better, of course, because it's the big brother. I think it's, well, I know it's the big brother. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, this car is just amazing to drive. I, I mean, it's got so much power, the, the um, gear ratio is so much better compared to the first two. I mean, from first all the way to the last gear, it doesn't, you know, go so fast to the limit. But yeah, I really like this car compared to the first two because it grips perfectly on the track and the tires are to the right temperature. And yeah. Woo 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 break. Back to two second gear. Coming around the corner, making sure I'm not getting too much gas. So I do not want to slide out. Why don't I want my back end to slide out? And causing me to go off the track. Coming up to the second to last well, third to last uh, corner. And then second to last 
setting it very beautifully. beautifully. <laughs> Any guys coming into the last turn, last corner of the track. Too much coming into it. Exiting comes up perfectly. And at the end. Whoop whoop! Thank you so much guys for watching. I'm no flex gamer. Like, subscribe, peace.